What's going on guys? Jordan Modern Day Muscle back at you with another video. I have found a really special challenger. You guys probably have seen this challenger all over IG. A list of L's 392. I'll put his uh, name on the screen because I know I didn't say it correctly. But um, his car has some pretty dope mods on it. And um, we're going to um, get him real quick. He's going to go over his mods. And um, we're also going to, um, as you guys can see, he's on bags as well. So I'm going to give you guys that treat as well. All right, guys. This is uh, Illus DeVille. Illus DeVille 392. 392. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. So uh, you've done a couple of mods to your car. I can visually see, and I know there's some things that I can't see. Uh, you want to go over the exterior? Yeah. Um, obviously, the first thing is the bags. Everything's on airlift uh, 3P with the airlift performance bags. Also on that, the struts were spun down just a little bit to make it sit even lower. Okay. So fully aired out. <clears throat> a lot of people ask me why there's why mine looks a little lower than theirs, but that's why. Just a little bit, but not much. But it, it helps. It helps. It yeah. helps airs out a little bit more until we do a, a cruise down to the a beach scene, and then I have to <laughs> manually do it down so I'm not tucking in some sand. But uh, that's the first thing, number one. Um, but the whole car is, in my opinion, dirty right now. I was expecting rain for a cruise, so I was rinsing off. I didn't do my normal OCD wash, but. The whole car was paint corrected and ceramic coated with ceramic pro. That was pretty much the first thing I wanted to do, having a black car. It shows literally everything. So, full paint correction, uh, ceramic pro. Recently, uh, did all the bottom plastics on the bottom of the car. Uh, those were color matched to the car in the pitch black color. All the lights, uh, tail lights, rear reflectors, side reflectors, or, uh, side markers are all in a dark carbon wrap so the whole car is basically going for the complete murdered out look is that wrap from a lux auto concepts lux auto concepts yeah. yeah so ordered that we wrapped all the lights i hate the yellow and orange and all stuff you gotta have all that blacked out in my opinion all the emblems were taken off and replaced with uh billet pitch black emblems to match the rest of the car the car's obviously sitting on stance um SFO3, 20 by, since I get this question a million times a day, 20 by 10 front, plus 21, 20 by 11 rear, plus 20 uh, wheels, which tuck in nicely, 305 tires on the front, or on the rear, and 275 on the, on the front. I like the murdered out, but still retain the theme a little bit, but add a little bit of color to it. Not too much. Nah, it looks great. Still murderous. It looks great, man, and uh, I actually forgot that you uh, had this car surround Emmett coated. I was, cause yeah. it was like, uh, I know Paul and I, we've talked and uh, we've seen pictures on your Instagram and we're, we're like, how the fuck did you keep that car Dude, looking so it's shiny? A, it's a damn job, man. It, it's like, <laughs> this car, when I first got it, it was the factory paint. No, I mean, Dodge factory paint, if anyone owns a Dodge, you know. Yeah. I don't care what color we're talking about. It's it's a nightmare. It's just, we'll say, especially the black. So yeah. me being... As OCD as I am, that was like the first thing I did was, it also had silver stripes from the factory on it. All that was taken off, all the stripes taken off. I had carbon fiber stripes very briefly. And then I said, forget it. I'm just gonna get all the paint redone, ceramic coated, which comes in handy, especially when you've got a black car. I, I couldn't even imagine owning a black car without without it being ceramic coated. Trust me, I I, uh, I can sympathize. Um, I'm ceramic coated with a clear bra. Yeah, it's a cost. I mean, if you have the money, yeah. especially if you have black. Wait, it's now, I think it's getting more popular. So the cost is the becoming cost is more affordable because like in, in the beginning, it was kind of like a rare thing. Right. So people were getting in, in the way with murder basically. Right. But, but now it's like, I've seen, I, I've seen people get their cars ceramic coated like inside at a garage. Right. For roughly like eight hundred, a thousand bucks now. Well, and that's and that's the thing is a lot of people, you know, they want to do ceramic coating, which is awesome. It's a great idea. It's one of the best things you can do with your car. But they don't know enough about it, so they take it to whoever, whoever, who yeah. says they know what they're doing. Right. And they're using a bad product or a generic or a coating. new or or a new product that hasn't been like tested. I chose Ceramic Pro. I don't have any affiliation with them. I, I have Ceramic Pro as well. Everyone knows it and everyone knows the quality of Ceramic Pro. So I paid a little extra to have 
certainty. Same. Which is what I do on everything in the car. I don't. I don't risk. Same. The only other. The only other coating that I was maybe considering was G Technic because they're. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're about just as old as Ceramic Pro, right. but like all the other ones, they're kind of like the new kids on Modesto's the block. Modesto's another good one. Yeah. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of good ones, but there's also a lot of bad ones. Just yeah. The same as there are car soaps. And, oh yeah. You just gotta do your research at the right, end of the day. Right, you know, things like that. So that ceramic coating, if you just want an instant change in the way your paint looks, I think is, is one of the best things that you can do. But that was one of the first things I did is I went on to get the paint correct, especially on a black car and as, as OCD as I am. I can't look at like it's not maybe dirty to most people, but for now, but to me, yeah. it's, it's bugging the hell out of me. But yeah. it, is, it is what it is, you know. So yeah, yeah. That was one of the first things and then wanted to get everything paint matched because I hated that plastic that's on the bottom. Yeah. I just haven't had the time to really give my car to get everything painted but with all this quarantine and covid and, and time off of work and stuff i just used it to do everything basically give my car away and let you know let did we go. um did we uh touch on your exhaust not sure. no no so on the exhaust um catless so i did stainless works uh catless mids and then there's a full corsa extreme uh exhaust with black tipped um black tips but I also have the MF1 uh, active bypass valves, so it will never close and it's always obnoxiously loud, <laughs> which is what you want. That's why I bought yeah, the car. Exactly. Yeah. But uh, yeah, full full course of extreme cat back with nice. uh, countless mid pipes and the uh, active uh, valve bypass. Cool. Um, you want to um, talk about the interior a little bit? I don't know if you're gonna... So on the interior, all the steering wheel, which is not going to stay on there much longer. I got some uh, some new ideas for the steering wheel coming. But all the trim, everything inside has all been painted pitch black to match the car as well. So the center console, dash, everything down to the door handles on the inside. Yeah. We're all color matched to the car and the door locks. That's a nice touch. Every little thing. I didn't want to leave any of that. Silver that comes on. This is the way that I always felt the car should have come. Yeah, it in looks my opinion, um. It looks factory, but not. To me, to me, it kind of has like a classic feel to it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just think this is the way. I mean, I, the silver that comes in these aren't bad. I just felt this would be better. A better. I think it's almost how it should have come from. Well, it made it, it, it made sense because you're going for an all black car, so it's like you want things right, to match. Right. No, I get it. I get it. Now I just have to watch where I touch because it just shows fingerprints everywhere now. Oh. But yeah, so I find myself on the steering wheel, like not touching that lower middle part. Just oh, so I don't really? get fingerprints all over it because I'll drive myself crazy. Yeah. But flooring's about to change. Let me show you guys the, the middle part of his steering wheel, which he paint matched. And then he paint matched the center console as well. And then he also paint matched his handle, which I actually didn't know that though. So I'm pretty glad I'm learning about that. What was what you talking about now? Sorry. No, I was, I've got uh, the whole flooring is going to be. Uh, I've got the diamond stitched. Okay. Black on black coming, so the whole flooring will be all diamond stitched leather. Um, so that'll be changed on the inside. But as far as the inside goes, I think I'm pretty much done for that. You know? Yeah. We all say that. But come up with some new idea. Come up with some new idea. The other thing is, I will point out, and you guys, if you follow me or you see me post, is show them that mount. If you don't have that pro clip mount, this pro clip. So that mount that's holding my airlift controller and my phone goes next to it. Mm -hmm. Get yourself one of those. Hey guys, if you guys are running, so do, do, do you have to be running an air, air suspension? No, no, no. So if you just want a full phone holder, mm -hmm. I did a setup. I work with, with ProClip USA, and they sent me out, um, I already had the phone mount, and they sent me out an airlift holder along with another mount, and I screwed it up to where I'd have both of them next to each other. That's good. So I can have my airlift Save controller and my phone next to each other. Just, if you don't have one of those, you need to get one of those. It makes Pro clip. the phone... So yeah, guys. So yeah, guys, that Pro Clip on... Um, if you guys uh, are looking or in the the uh, the market for looking for something to hold your phone while you're driving, um, definitely check out this Pro Clip. And if you have airlift, you don't just want your controller just sitting around wherever. Yeah. You can do like a little double mount up, like I did there. Yeah, yeah. Simple. 
So speaking of airlift, um, All right, guys, you've seen that black on black murdered out challenger, Illis Vils. Make sure you go uh, follow him on uh, IG, Illis Vils 392, and there's a couple underscores in there, but I will put it on the screen. Make sure you go follow. Um, really dope car. Um, if, you're, if you're curious of what he's gonna do more to the car, make sure you go and follow him on IG. But like I said, this is the end of this video. My name is Jordan. Um, I will catch you guys in the next video.